Thanks for the support as a channel member, Kevin Wilcox. Well, we're reaching the business end of the season, second leg of the Valencia tie today. And we've forgotten how to score goals and started losing games. So, perfect timing. Hello and welcome to Club 4, part 28 of non to Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have that second leg of the Champions League first knockout round tie against Valencia. Plus, we're away against Chelsea in the league. Since you were last with me, um, we did manage to stuff West Brom. The only problem is we scored all our goals in that game. So we then got knocked out of the FA Cup by Manchester United after extra time and then lost 1-0 to Watford in the league, which is our first league defeat since... Manchester United back in October. So we are, I guess you would, I mean, you've got to say we're still in the title hunt. We're only four points off the top of the league. But all of a sudden, that Chelsea game that we've got in the second half of the episode becomes that bit more important. And of course, Valencia, massive, because we're nil-nil from the first leg. Got to win. Got to win on the night to stay in the Champions League hunt as well. This whole season could take an unfortunate turn by the end of this episode. This time yesterday, we had a chance of winning everything still and we're looking good for it. By the end of today, we could just be, let's just try and finish fourth. The Spurs motto. So, this is the team we're putting out there for the Valencia game. We've got Francisco in goal. A back throw of Sessegnon, Van Houston, Van Falvey and Jair. Vargas at the base of the midfield. Gravenberch and Rott ahead of him. Ali then behind George and Fernando up front. You can see we're starting to mix things up a little bit just to try and grab some goals. Carlos and Fernando have had a lot of games together um, with a variety of different attacking midfielders behind them, but... The goals have dried up, so let's give George a go and see if he can uh, see if he can sort us out and get some goals. Um, right, I fully expect you to end our poor run of form and win this match. I do fully expect that. I've said it assertively. Nobody cares, but hopefully they've taken it on internally and we'll use that to spur them on. It, oh, spur them on! I didn't even do that on purpose. Spur them on to victory. That, see, that should be the club motto, not let's try and finish fourth. Spur them on is much better. Gravenberch now with the free kick. First attack of the game. George was the target for it, but couldn't quite get on the end of it. And the uh, the Valencia keeper gets a hold of it rather comfortably. We I would like to think we should be all right in this game as long as our, our form and momentum isn't completely gone. Because the last time we played Valencia with an attacking mindset was the Europa League final last year. And ultimately, it was a pretty comfortable win. But of course, that was that was a different time. It was a neutral venue. We were in form and we were playing with wingers. But we might as well be playing with wingers today. We've got Jair doing Jair things. Down the right-hand side, finds George. And George, with a good chance to put us ahead, heads over. And he's had a couple of decent opportunities already in those first 15 minutes or so. He's not filling me with confidence. And I'm looking at Antonio Carlos on the bench already and thinking, would you have scored? I, I, I suggest he probably wouldn't, and he's not not traditionally an aerial threat, but still, would he have scored? He might have done. Um, George, much better from him there, though, intercepting and having the shot from range. And He did well to win the ball back, but would have probably rather seen him play it into Fernando, who was ahead of him and in a better position. Uh, but we look to go again, once again, through George, who's chasing chasing forward has options ahead of him this time finds Fernando who cannons the ball from the edge of the area into the post it bounces straight back out into his path again but the Valencia defenders have had time to recover and we get a corner Gravenberch to take once again looking for George who once again can't get on the end of it and Van Houston can't keep the ball moving from the end of the edge of the area and it's it's turning into some end-to-end -end stuff which is surprising looking at those stats because Valencia as of yet haven't had a shot I suspect there's probably one coming here but we've been pretty dominant on those stats for the first half hour or so of this game but we don't have anything to show for it but Deli Ali trying to counter their counter finds Jair but the ball's behind him leaves him with a lot to do luckily he's got a lot of ability it's back with Ali and now Rott and Vargas across to Gravenberch Sessignon's in space if we can find him we've gone the other way with Vargas who is fouled they've come right through the back of him there and we've got a free kick on the edge of the area well it's not it's miles out Gravenberch finds Banfalvi and that is the chance of the game so far 
And I have to wonder why it's our centre back who's on the end of it. I know normally you aim for the big lad with a free kick, but that wasn't a cross coming in for him to head down. That needed a calm and composed finish. And Banfalvi, probably not the man that you would expect to provide you with such a thing. George now skips past his man, plays about to grab him, but just a lovely little pass. Ali. And now Jair, rot Jair again. And Jair doing Jair things. It's his sixth goal of the season. It's on his weak foot. He is the best player in the world, surely. He's not even the best player at the club, star rating wise. But my word, he is. I don't think there's any doubt that Jair is the most fun player to watch, possibly in the history of the channel already, because you never know what he's going to do. He shouldn't be able... It's not been disallowed, has it? No, good. He should not be able to stick it into the top corner like that on his weak foot in a high-pressure Champions League game. He's a 21-year-old right back. Guard against complacency. But if you're Jair, just keep doing Jair things. Oh, what a player he is. But we do now have the advantage. But of course, always the danger with away goals. So we'd like a second one because if Valencia score at this point, it counts double. And we don't want to go behind as they equalise. So let's let's grab another one, shall we? I have got the more defensive system that we could switch to. But I don't want to do it until we go 2 0 up because it just feels it feels too risky to invite them onto us when it when a goal for them wins them the game. It's not like we're defending a lead and all we might end up drawing. It costs us the game if they score. Right, Deli Alley not having the best of times out there. We're gonna bring on Vermonti and push Rot further forward and just shuffle this whole midfield round a little bit and get Vermonti into the into the mix. Likewise, getting Antonio Carlos on as well. Just Freshening things up with two of the best players we've had this season, rating-wise. Vargas plays Sessegnon in. He's got plenty of room to try and do some Jair things of his own. Um, Gravenberch, not quite so successful, but Vargas finds it. What a goal from Luis Vargas. And uh, at 2-0 up, I think that is my cue to now drop to the more defensive system. It's a lovely goal from Vargas. Valencia, at some point, are going to have to start attacking, which means we really do need to start thinking a little bit more about defending. Our fullbacks have both been instrumental in the goals that we've scored so far in this game. But sooner or later, as defenders, they're probably going to have to do some defending. And Valencia haven't had a shot on target. They've only had two shots in total. They're surely going to be trying to spend most of these last 10 minutes attacking. So let's uh, let's let's try and do some defending. Cessignon's picked up a knock. So as a party, he's going to come on for him. And we just want to see out these final 10 minutes. It has been an efficient performance Look at the state of this. This is, it's a ridiculous number of shots that we've had to only be 2 0 up. But importantly, Valencia were absolutely never in it. In either tie, I think they've probably had five shots in total across the two matches. We just were waiting for the opportunity to score our goals and beat them. So can't complain about that at all. We're through to the next round. And now we need to carry that form through into this Chelsea game, which. If we don't beat Chelsea now, I think we're probably out of the title race and we'll have to fully focus on the Champions League. So shuffled things around a little bit for the Chelsea game. Dave Azapardi comes in for Sessignon, who uh, picked up his knock. I mean, to be fair, he could probably play, but he, he went off injured in the last game. So let's just protect him, get Azapardi in. And Vermonti comes back in at the base of the midfield. So it's Vargas and Gravenberch ahead of him. Rot in behind the strikers and Antonio Carlos returning to partner Fernando up front. And we have, of course, switched back to the cautious mentality again. It's a big away game that you would probably make Chelsea the favourites for. But we want to we wanna prove that you know, we're in this title race. Let's assertively go and avenge what happened last time. I don't even, I don't remember what happened last time. We haven't lost a lot of games this year, but Chelsea presumably must have been one of them at our place. So that doesn't bode well, but we are comfortably above them in the league. They'll be looking at this game as a way to try and get themselves back into the title race. It's probably a little bit too late for them, but they're definitely, I mean, they're, they're in danger of not even getting in the Champions League if they don't win this game because they've got Man City and Liverpool chasing on their tails. What a, what a future we could be in where Manchester City and Liverpool both don't qualify for the Champions League. Francisco with a good save from the first 
good opportunity of the game. And I am... I don't want to say losing patience with the defensive system because it is doing what it's intended to do. I don't know how much longer I can watch matches where we're not creating anything. We had it in the away game against Valencia, which ultimately is a professional job well done. Excellent stuff. But this is a game... The league games are a little bit different, especially when you're in the title race. A, a draw is not really good enough for us today. I mean, it's obviously better than losing, but we kind of need to win the game, which means we do need to go out there and attack a little bit. And as you can see from the stats, we're not really doing that. 35 minutes in, we've not had a shot on target yet. And Chelsea are there peppering our goal with chances. And we're just, we're not quite as effective on the counter-attack as I think we probably need to be to really make this system work as a, as a match-winning system rather than a spoiling system, which is what it is at the moment. But I guess when we weren't we didn't expect to be in a title race this year, so we can't complain too much. The fact that with thirty games gone, we could be second in the league, three points off top of the table Arsenal, I guess I can live with that. We're not we're not officially trying to win the league. Although we kind of are. Um, we're going to continue with the with the whole we owe Chelsea after what happened last time. What we really want though is one of these one of these players just to do something a little bit spectacular. We need Jair to do some Jair things, but a he looks like he's picked up a knock, which means we're going to have to take him off, which is a problem. But B, being a little bit more defensive in this system does does restrict him a little bit. I'm I'm worried about him. I don't know what's happened there, but Kawamata can come on to play at right back. Jair's conditioning was just dropping like a stone we're going to ask for a little bit of creativity we have created a few more chances in this second half nothing worthy of a highlight but at least we've actually had some shots now Kawamata trying to head clear it doesn't actually go very far and has left us under a little bit of pressure and Chelsea go one nil up with 20 minutes to go which is my cue to now go a little bit more attacking I just worry we might have left it a little bit too late maybe it wasn't the day for playing this system I don't know. But I I suspect we're maybe one season away from being a title winning team. Not that we're necessarily going to win it next year, but I it, you know, we've we've missed out on the Champions League the last 2 years through the league. It's probably a little bit soon for a team that only really had two big signings added to it in the summer to suddenly be going and winning the league for a t for a Spurs that haven't won the league in like 50 years at this point. Um, right, Rot is going to come off. You know what? I'm going to bring on Jaden Sancho and just see if he's got something special. Deli Alley is starting to struggle more and more. I think age is finally catching up with Deli Alley. So we'll try we'll try Sancho in the hole again and just hope that he's got something something fancy to show us. Not that he's shown much in the way of fancy stuff for two years at this point, but you never know. He's He's probably got more of the chance of doing it than Delhi Ali has. The sort of the form Ali has been in. Kawamata with the clearance finds George, who the the the, the move just ends. And I think, I mean, it's obviously not mathematical, but I think we're out of the title race. It was a very tight, close one nil. The worrying thing is we never really looked like scoring in it. So we need Arsenal to bottle it at this point, and United. We need both of them to just bottle it. But fingers crossed, we're going to be good for the Champions League. And that is the important thing. And that's what we'll be coming back to show in tomorrow's episode. As it looks like the league is probably done now, we might just do both legs of the Champions League quarterfinal tomorrow. It depends how these next couple of league games go. If we're still within four or five points at the top of the table, I'll do the second leg and one of the league games just because that's still going. But I think there's a very good chance tomorrow we'll just be two Champions League games. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.